Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Word Tutorials Only. Recently I was recording a video for a tutorial on how to use a page break and by accident I used the blank page instead and I was like going on with the video tutorial and I'm like no, I don't need a blank page, I need a page break and then it dawned on me what's the difference between a blank page and a page break. I'll show you that difference now. Now we're on our insert tab on our ribbons menu and under the pages section there's three options. There's a cover page, the blank page and the break page. Now the cover page it's pretty self-explanatory. It's you just adding a cover page it's like if you're doing an assignment or you're doing a report or something of some sort and you just don't want to be bothered in doing your own cover page or I should say designing your own cover page. So all you do is you click and I'll zoom out to show you that I added a cover page to my document. Now let's undo this. Let's go to home and we'll undo this. And then we'll go back to insert. Now, a blank page gives you a brand new page. It doesn't take anything from the previous page onto the second page. It just gives you a clean page. Now, let me undo that. And go back to the insert tab. And now, let's go to the page break. Now, just let me zoom up a little bit here. And let's say I want to put my page break after the question of the day. So let's say I want the sentence, what is the difference between a page break and a new page? I want that on a separate page. Now, if I go up to the insert tab and click page break, of course that sentence will go on an entirely new page. I did a whole tutorial on this in a separate video on how to insert a page break. I'll link that video so you can check it out. Go take a look at that video so you could see exactly how and what a page break is and how you could use it effectively in a document. And let me undo that. So even though the names and the purposes are very similar, they are totally different in functionality. Comment down below and let me know if you realize that there was a difference between a blank page and a page break. Also, for the month of February, I am working towards getting to 1,000 subscribers. Subscribing to me here on Microsoft Word Tutorials only will help me in achieving that goal. And also for reminders on new videos that I post every day, you could click the notification bell so that you could get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.